So I thought I'd do a little tour of the living room, show you what it looks like. This was the back wall that was... You couldn't really put anything on it because this door frame had a door in it that would open lengthways like this that would crash into anything that was here. But now that that is gone, I could put my shelves in and this is where I've moved the PS1, the PS2 and the 360 games from the bedroom to test before I buy and sell just because obviously you need to make sure they're working before you sell them on to someone. The boring PS2 games from PAL region or White Spines other than Super Buster Move which for whatever reason out of 2000 odd PS2 games this was the only one they had with a coloured spine. Right so the closet put up three shelves mostly for boxes for well, the consoles really. There's a Halo Legendary box in there. There's an old, there's a Wii bag in there that I got at the Eurogamer Expo like nearly over a decade ago. I don't even think it's called that anymore. I think it's called EGX. So there is my test bench. This TV is the one I had since I was about six years old kept it all this time. Even the stand which was in the garden shed. All that was in here before I did this was this uh, <laughs> was the uh, the fuse box. The power situation is not great I've had to plug it in here run it up this wall as an extension cable and it's around this corner. I'll make that look nicer as well as the rest of the wires eventually but for now it works. Right, show you the rest of the room might as well. You know, the PS4 games, the uh, three PS5 games that I've got, my Metal Gear games, my Halo games, the TV, the PS5, the Xbox Series X, and of course all my PS3 games. I'm up to over 850 plus uniques now. Still about 300 off the full collection. I'm not sure I'll go for the true full collection that is every standalone release which would require me to get all of the unique ones that were only released in Japan or only released in America. The Japanese ones aren't too expensive. The problem is just figuring out exactly what games I'm missing because I don't speak a word of Japanese. And as you can see it's, it's impossible to find out if you don't. There's no big list. I mean, there's there's a bunch of stuff like this that no one lists because they think, oh, that's a demo disc. That's not a game. That's some TV recording software. That's not a game. That's an MMO that doesn't even work anymore. That's not a game. That's a software for the PSI. That's not a game. So, yeah, finding those are quite difficult. The... American exclusives aren't hard to find, it's just they're expensive, like over in dollars like 300, 400, 500 for the most expensive ones, it's just silly. Because the American market is completely fucked. They are the last ever published PS3 games that came out last year. Right, I think that is everything. Ta-ta!